Hi, and welcome back to Hammerhead Sports Production. Please keep watching my videos and please subscribe. It'd be much appreciated, really, please. So, anyway, in recent news, the Cincinnati Bengals have uh, claimed off waivers former first uh, round pick, uh, Tack McKinley from the Atlanta Falcons. He got his wish, <laughs> to say the least, out of that whole freaking mess with the tweets and everything with him and the Falcons. <laughs> But honestly, I'm kind of I'm laughing because he go he kind of goes from one dumpster fire to another. Though in my opinion, the Bengals are playing uh, even though their record kind of well, uh, doesn't uh, speak it uh, speak it. They are playing much better. All right? Their their offense is definitely better than last year. Um, and and they're honestly playing good on that side of the ball with Burrow and everything. Their defense is still kind of paper, but I mean it's. Maybe, yeah, it's pretty much just as bad. Really, the only thing better is their offense. Um, so, I mean, I'm 50-50 I'm, I'm with it, whether or not it's a good move. I'm not... One thing, it's not... He doesn't have a durability problem. He doesn't have a durability He's only missed three games over four over the four, uh, his first four years in the NFL. Um, he has 45 Q, QB hits over four years, which is all, which is all right. Um... He did make a big deal about him having uh, 17 and a half sacks over four years. Um, but again, I'm like 50-50 on it because as he did make a big deal, let's see how it lines up with some of the people taken ahead of him in the 2017 NFL draft. First overall pick, Miles Garrett is 39 and a half sacks uh, over his four years. Solomon Thomas, who tore his ACL this year, which is sad. Has only six sacks over his first four years and 93 tackles. Derek Barnett, taken with the 14th pick, seven, uh, has just a, just the same amount, 17 and a half. Jo uh, Jonathan Allen, taken at 17, uh, 16 and a half sacks. And Charles Harris, I think he has, I think it was like either five and a half or a, it's either, it's between four and six. And he's already on a second team. And kind of ironic, he, he, he that um, shoot, doesn't he? I actually can't remember. He's either on the uh, he. I was going to make the point that now he's playing for the Falcons, but I think it's either the Falcons or the Texans he's playing for. So he's kind of really not panned out at twenty two, and then you have Tack at twenty six, and that whole, and then him bringing his uh, picture of his grandmother and um. I mean, I, I'm not going to get, I'm glad that he did that and everything. Not the swearing, but I mean, he, he has that, he has so much respect for his grandmother. Um, but anyway, I mean, I, th I mean, it, it's really too soon to see whether or not it'll be a good move. Maybe just, I mean, compared to all the other, uh, compared to the other guys, I mean, it's kind of like, that's kind of the, around the amount that they, that they have up to this point, with the exception of Garrett, who's been an absolute beast at the defensive end position. And is probably going to end up with a uh, hundred sacks if, if he continues on this pace. Um, and it is one of the few uh, first round picks that panned out for the Browns. Thank you, John Dorsey. And I still can't believe the Cleveland Browns fired him. Uh, thanks a lot, you freaking owner of an ass. Um, but uh, we're not talking about the Browns today. We're talking about Tack McKinley. So I mean, he, he can bring he can bring some swagger. I, I mean, he's very um. He, he he's a good player. He he's got around like I think he's got up to this point around six tackles for loss, which is all right, uh, pretty good for uh, first four games. Um, I mean he can, uh, he can fit in there to their defensive scheme. We'll see if the and maybe they'll it will help him to be in a different place now that that he's out of that dumpster fire, and may, uh, maybe the coaches will help him. I mean, maybe maybe not. I mean it's I mean they. Bengals didn't give up anything. They didn't trade for him. So, I mean, it's not, they don't really lose anything if it doesn't pan out. I mean, they want the future. He can you know, help them build since he's, uh, I think he's, what, 26? So he's still got years ahead of him. So, I mean, it can, honestly, this can go two ways. It can go really good or good or really bad. So, I like to, I really do want him to do good. Um, as I hope, as I like to, every football player to do good who gets the, and drafted in the NFL, with how how many football players dream of it. So, I mean, 
Most, let's see. And uh, I guess you could say he brings veteran experience, but he's still kind of a young player, but he can be, he bring veteran experience and some playoff experience since he did play. Uh, in, he was part of that last year where the um, Falcons made the playoffs. I think it was um, the year he got drafted in 2017. So I hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time.